I got Dak Killer Chris in the house. Whoop, whoop. What up, y'all? We are doing this video on YouTube. You can go check it out. Check it, check it, check it out. You ready to start this? Fuck yeah. All right, let's do it. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. up everybody thank you for tuning into the natural habitat podcast my name is mikey booyah and i'm debt killer chris y'all sorry about those dings and dangs that were happening beep, beep. that was my computer i shouldn't have made that noise fuck uh, off computer sorry uh doing something. welcome to the show this is where uh you know we we kick back we relax we get lit we're actually extra lit today that could be a blessing Smoking on that kush. Or it could be a problem. Right now we're that smoking kush, on that smoking kush. on that soul love. Yeah, yeah. That and we're smoking on this uh I forgot what strain from the Chronicle seven ten. It's bomb. That's what I'm gonna call it. Bomb strain. Yeah, hit that pen. It's your hit. I'm gonna hit this bong. <coughs> and uh, you know, it's uh it's really nice to uh to be here with all you listeners and to kick it with you, Chris. It's been a minute. Yeah, yeah. I know you've, you've been know out of been... town. I've been uh gone off the podcast here and there, been on, but uh I'm gonna be back a lot more, y'all. So uh, back a lot more. You know what I'm saying? I've been taking some personal time and just get my shit together. I was talking about me in real life not seeing you because you have been on vacation. You went yeah. you went to Disneyland, right? I, yeah, I did for uh I left for four days, man. <coughs> I had to go clear my mind and fucking just like get out of here and like, you know, just take my son and go to vacation and fucking he, he never been to Disneyland before, so I was like, fuck it, man. He's almost four. So, like, he's at that age where you can ask him shit and he'll answer back, you know? Like, yeah. he's more communicative and fucking... So, I was like, it's about that time. Yeah, and so, we were we were talking about how everybody remembers their first trip to Disneyland or a theme park or, like, that big thing back when you I still... remember my first trip to Disneyland. Yeah, so do I. And like back when, back when you still believe the shit, you know what I mean? Like he, yeah. he met like Goofy, I Mickey, imagine. Mickey, all that shit. Yeah, yep. and was all like, that's Mickey. We had, uh, we did breakfast with Mickey Let's and friends. Let's go ahead and burp right into that microphone. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> we had breakfast with Mickey and friends. Who were his friends? Um, like Goofy and fucking Captain Hook and like Chip and Dale and fucking Daisy and all that shit. That doesn't know? seem canonical. It seems like they should be in different universes. So what happens is like we get to a table, like we sit down like in this buffet style and they have like, Mickey pancakes and Mickey waffles and fucking like all kinds of crazy shit and they had like these nice little fucking elegant desserts and like they had like on stock fucking hundreds of bottled fucking like those chocolate milk uh Nesquicks. Yeah. Do I fucking snatch up like twenty of them bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I mean fuck dog, they had like four sections of these chocolate like these bottles of chocolate milk. I was like, swoop. Hell yeah. So fucking like go to the table we're eating, you know, and then like um <coughs> When you walk up, like, you'll take a picture with Mickey Mouse and Daisy. And then you go inside, you get your food, you sit down. And as you're eating, Captain Hook and, like, everyone else will walk up to your table, fucking, like, do the little fucking, like, you know, mime shit, you know, because they don't talk. So they just do the little mime shit, you know, shake your hand and fucking act all friendly and fucking. Yeah. They fucking, my kid was just, like, all, like, starstruck shit because he watches, like, uh, Captain Hook and fucking all those characters. <clears throat> so it was cool, like, just to watch him, like, be all fucking, like, just amazed and, like, w like his look on his face was like, damn, am I really, like, meeting this motherfucker right now? Like, yeah. holy shit, like, do I hit, like, him a high five? Do I fucking, like, say what's up? Do I, like, <laughs> he will all, like, he won't say shit while they're, like, there and trying to talk to him. As soon as they leave and walk away, bye, Hook, bye, bye. Yeah. Then he'll be all, like, all friendly and shit. It's a trip. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, he was, and he went on like some hella crazy rides. Like it was cool. That's fresh. It's fresh that uh that he got to experience it at the perfect age. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And I wouldn't take him too early because then like I'd be stuck really not doing shit and then he'd Yeah, be he's crying. in a stroller the whole time, yeah. you know. But yeah. it's like it's that perfect window yep. that he hit. So that's dope. 
And now he's not afraid. I know he's not afraid of like big rides. He went on Splash Mountain, fucking uh-huh. had a blast. Star Tours. He fucking was like, when uh Darth Vader came up, he was like, "Go away, go, go, get him." <laughs> they were like shooting and shit. They're like, "Get him, get him." And he was like having a blast. So I was like, "Oh shit!" Hell yeah, like, Rebel Alliance. Yeah, and like he knows fucking, what's up. The dude, the fucking thing was just like smashing down left to the right, jerking and shit. And he was just like holding on, fucking just taking. He was a champer, man. I was Best like, note. I thought he was gonna cry, like one hundred percent. I was uh-huh. like, "Fuck, man, I'm just gonna try and see what he does." Because we're already on the ride, you know. Yeah. So, but surprisingly, he fucking he had a blast on everything, but Haunted Mansion. Yeah. The, when you first walk in, <clears throat> well, like, the Haunted Mansion creeps me out, dude. N- I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't was it the, the hallway with the with the eyes following him? No, and shit? it was the, when you first walk in to that room, and then like you fucking the floor moves down, the paintings and shit, and then like it goes black and the fucking uh, thunder and lightning and shit lights up in the. And the you fucking, look up and you see the exactly. dude hanging and shit. That when he felt something move, or, uh-huh. like you seen the wall start going up and shit. He started fucking screaming. He's like, nah, uh Screaming. I want to go this way. Go, go this way. Exit. Go, go. I want to go, go. And like, just talking and screaming. And I was just like, trying to like, cover his eyes and like, calm down and shit. And then he like, he stopped. And then like, I fucking like, covered his eyes and like, the fucking electric fucking shit happens. Boom. Then the doors open and then he kind of finally calmed down and like, got on the ride. Yeah. But it was just that I knew that fucking first thing was gonna fuck him up through the that was just gonna fuck off the whole ride. See now like I know I know that that's creepy because I remember that yeah. part. There's like very few parts that I remember of that, the haunted mansion. I remember the eyes following you in the beginning when you're walking down the hallway, like yep. of all the paintings and shit. And then I remember that hanging dude, that part. And then I remember the end when you're on like the ride and did you see the the ghost? And you see with the you? ghost with you, yeah. You this person is leaving with you, uh-huh. <laughs> and you're just like, I don't want to bring a ghost home. And it is like creepy. I as mean, fuck. that first part though is because the base of the fucking uh, like like how the how the thunder plays and they make it like that effect where like you can feel the vibration. Yeah, and like when the bright the bright fucking light pew, it flashes and then all of a sudden you see the skeleton and you're just like oh shit like it just how fast it happens it fucking catches you off guard and you like yeah. naturally flinch you're like oh shit it like, has the same like cadence as a horror movie like how shit kids, happens like split second yeah for kids his age is just like fucking you're witnessing def- a murder like. definitely <laughs> horrifying yeah <laughs> <laughs> and like i knew that would kind of like fuck off the he didn't give a fuck about the ride after that uh-huh he was just not going to give it a chance because that scared the shit out of him. Yeah. So anything else is going to be scary. But when we got on the ride, he like looked around, was like kind of like nervous at first, but then like he started to get into it and like he started like looking at things like, oh, like laughing and stuff and like wasn't getting into it, you know? Yeah. And then where they had like the part where like you look over the balcony and see the ghost dancing and shit, he liked that and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I would have been, I would have been worried about the, about Mickey and friends more than I anything was. because those are weird dudes inside of those costumes. Yeah, I kept telling them for like two weeks prior, like, look, man, like you have to understand, like these Mickey is gonna be my height or bigger. He's gonna be bigger than me. Or I would show him like the documentaries they have on like Netflix of, about Disneyland and shit. So like he would get an idea <laughs> of what he's about to hit. Yeah, it's because not gonna be some little fucking. He's scared of Santa Claus and shit, man. He's yeah. scared of anybody that's bigger than him in a costume. I was talking about the creepy people that are inside the costumes because they don't do proper background checks. I had a dude. I I knew a dude. I had a dude. <laughs> I I was gonna say I had a homie. <laughs> I had a homie, but he wasn't really. So like, it was a well, he was, but now he's not. So I had a dude that I knew that worked at Disneyland, and he. uh he like didn't wear like any of the mascot shit. Yeah. He was like I wanna say he was like a cleanup guy that went around and like fucking emptied trashes and swept shit up. Yeah. But uh he had to wear like this like Donald Duck style outfit, like a sailor okay. outfit with like shorts. Yeah, yeah. It's and, like, 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 it's like a white shirt yeah, with like the white... mascot with the blue. Yeah, it's a white outfit they wear. Yeah. So like all the maintenance guys have to wear yep. it. And uh he was telling me that like that you're not allowed to talk unless somebody asks you a question. If you're in a mascot uniform, you're not allowed to talk at all. You no, have to you're talk not. with waving and because hands and shit. The reason why is because they know that person. They know that cartoon's voice. Yeah. You're so you're not. Yeah, you're not gonna fool a kid you or can, an adult. Now, with now your you voice. just fucked off that whole kid's. Like now the kid knows that all these motherfuckers are fake. Yeah. And now you just fucked off their whole image. You're not allowed to. Uh, you're not allowed to like drink water. Whether you're wearing a mascot outfit or not, you're not allowed to drink water out on the park. What? You have to go to like designated areas 
like there's a lot of underground shit that goes on there and there's like some secret underground bar that was I don't, like Walt, I, don't, I don't doubt it there's like Walt Disney's bar that he would bring like celebrities to and shit that's yeah. down there and uh, and this dude that I knew fucking went and like he actually saw the bar one time and he said that there was all these crazy strict rules like Nazi Germany style no bullshit he there can't were, do this can't do that he, because, he couldn't wipe his sweat that was no. another one he wasn't allowed to wipe the sweat off of his face he had to go somewhere that wasn't public disneyland is very strict yeah they like crazy. they because of the image that fucking walt disney had was a certain fucking image hey his head's still out there he you still know, has that image he's but he had a certain image that he wanted his park to be so no matter what he wasn't gonna jeopardize that for nothing you know disneyland paid anaheim's debt for fucking like i believe 10 or 20 years so they're allowed to do whatever they want crazy yeah but he protected his image first like he no matter what to like pretty much like from when the park started to now they're damn near similar rules maybe a couple have changed but it's pretty much the same yeah like you can't have tattoos i mean and if you do you have to fucking cover them up from neck to fucking hands like so many strict rules they don't sell like in main disney that they won't sell any shot glasses or anything that have to do with alcohol or anything like that um they, they don't sell a lot of shit, shit that has anything to do with fucking any drug smoking or, or drinking. They have one, I think, maybe two areas where you can smoke in the entire park. Yeah. And other than that, you're not allowed to smoke. Mm -hmm. And there's constantly people. On an average day, there's almost 4,000 people working at Disneyland at that whole place. That's crazy. On an average day. It's well, crazy, it's man. like, think of how much money they're bringing oh, in. Oh, that's just, insane. Just think, I think an average ticket is like $180 uh -huh. for a one-day ticket. And then a large soda is 45 bucks. It's like $9. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Real shit. For like, a fucking 25 cents worth of soda <laughs> and ice. You know, they buy that shit by yeah, the they're fucking buying truckloads. In, yeah, so they're buying like, it in way bulk. Oh, yeah. So they're getting the they're fucking how, they're best doing deal. They're doing how ICB does, and they're just getting truckloads of that yeah. shit. And you know they have a deal with oh. fucking the distributor oh, to where they get it even cheaper, and they're selling it for extra. Because you see all over the park advertisement. Yeah. You see, like, fucking where they sell Coke, big ass Coke sign. Yeah, it's all or product whatever. placement and shit. Yep. Mm hmm. All day. It's crazy, man. So, uh, before we started recording, we were, uh, we were going through, uh, my vinyls and we were talking about, uh, the Defiant Ones, which, yeah, yeah. which you should watch. That shit is dope. I've been talking about it a lot. I'm gonna look it up. I've been talking about it a lot on the podcast, so I don't wanna bring it up. <laughs> but, uh, the show is not sponsored by the Defiant Ones on HBO. But uh, we were looking through the vinyls that I have, and I have an original release of The Chronic. That's right. 1992. Uh, was it? 93? No. 94? 93? 92. 1992. 1992. And uh, executive producer Suge Knight, I can read it from here. It's so fucking huge on the bottom. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh... And it's <clears throat> fucking mint condition. Yep. And then I also found out that I have the 30th print of Dark Side of the Moon. Number three zero. It says that shit, and it has the zero scratched out in an X. Yep. And then right above it, it has a little pound, like a number sign, and it'll say three and then zero, and then through the zero has an X, which means that to me that's like always number 30. Yeah. So now that I realize... Uh, what I'm saying, you if you want to come rob me for my <laughs> for my fucking rare albums, then uh, I have guns. Oh, uh, we have um, well, you know, at the front and back door, we have automatic um Rottweiler machines. No, they're just little uh cannons that come out, and they anybody that tries to break in, they just come out, <laughs> bust them real quick, yeah. and go back into the building real and then fast. And if you if you make it through that, we do have the Rottweiler rapid birthing machine. And then we have slamming doors with spikes on them. Uh huh. Um, we have. Uh, drop floors with spikes. Yeah, so, and, and also uh, also a trash compactor style hallway like from yes. Star Wars. Yes, with spikes attached. Yeah, a lot of spikes. And definitely, then you get dropped into crocodiles. Just making sure that's still recording. We're looking good. You will you will be dropped into a pool of crocodiles after you be stabbed. So the blood tracks them, and they chomp on your body like a fish. It's dangerous. Yes. And then uh, then at the end of that, you'll wash ashore and you'll still be alive, but barely. But then we have uh, a bunch of wasp nests oh, yeah. that are outside. And then they're just going to come in and bite you a million times and you're going to die. Yeah, and that's going to be the end of the cycle. We figured that but we would just But it would be like a 20-minute process. Yeah, we wanted to use the wasp nests that are already out there. 
because that's really what happened is that we found out that we have a wasp nest outside and we were like we could probably build I'm some sort of defense of, system yeah, around I'm this definitely afraid of wasps. <laughs> hey. yeah we were talking about it uh before we started recording we were out there smoking and i i found this wasp one just decided, decided to fly up like it was nobody's business yeah like he was just like don't worry about what i'm doing and flew, go about go about what you should flew right into uh right into the closet in the back and i was like oh no fuck this i swung the door open <laughs> Maybe it was you that did it. No, I did. Go ahead, go. I'll, I'll, I'll let you tell the story. I fucking swung the door open with no fear because Chris is afraid of wasps. So I was like, get back, homie. I got this. And fucking. Uh, I, do, I, I really hate them. Yeah. So so Chris opened the door and we found the little uh, little wasp nest yeah, that was they, in there. They had just built the first tunnel. Yep. And it reminded me of there was. We had one out there before, like a, like a year or two ago. And it was bigger. Like I want to say that we left for for a while. It was in yeah, summer. Yeah. We went to like Vegas or some shit. Yep. And then we come back, and it was like a small one when we had left. And then it was huge when we got oh, back. Oh yeah. It just, was like fucking just, softball size. That time we were gone of just constant fucking building because no interruptions. Uh huh. Because I'm I'm sure when they when you go outside to smoke or when it you go outside them to all see away something, and shit. they send a message out like hold up. Type yeah. shit. And then when you go back in, they resume. Even though they're kind of like still walking around, they don't really do shit. Yeah. So I imagine it doesn't take them that long with nope. no with no distractions, oh, like yeah. you said. Just straight fucking. Brrr. So uh, so they fucking made this softball size like Man. nest out there, right? It's probably a couple hundred. And they're all fucking like crawling in and out of it and shit. And I was like, fuck. So we get back and I was like, shit. And I, I look at it and I'm like, all right, we're going to wait till nighttime because they're like dormant at night. They, like, don't fly, and they, like, just sleep and shit. And I want to say that now that I'm remembering this, it's bees that are dormant and don't sleep, and wasps do fly around a little bit at nighttime. But, I, uh... I, I don't think, yeah, it matters. No, I think... I, I don't think it matters if it's night or day, but it's just... No, I think, I think it was good, because I remember I went out there, I had, like, a like a little, like, putty scraper, you know what I mean? I think it's the cold or the heat. And I fucking... Yeah, I think it might have been the cold. And I, uh... I scraped the shit off, and it fell down. They all just kind of, like, fell out. They started flying? No, they didn't start flying. They just kind of were, like, crawling around on their sides and fucking all, like, all docile oh, and shit. Man. So I fucking sprayed them with some stuff, had, like, some crazy wasp spray, and uh, they all, like, started dying. Now PETA's going to be on my ass. Now I'm going to get all these <laughs> fucking goddamn comments from all these animal lovers that are like the bees are dying it was boss man they're dangerous yeah but we do have a problem with they'll send you to the hospital wait hold on do wasps pollinate like flowers uh i'm gonna find they out might. but they will bite you a hundred times let's see and they will send your ass to the hospital bees will only sting you once and die so it says that uh, they look like bees, but they're less fuzzy. They're not covered with fuzzy hairs. Yeah. As a result, they're much less efficient in pollinating flowers because pollen is less likely to stick to their bodies. So they don't really pollinate. They just attack. Yeah, they just attack and fuck shit up. <laughs> so here's <laughs> all so they like, do is look for shit to fuck shit up because they can. They, they'll bite you a hundred times and they won't die. Yeah. So this is what happened, right? I fucking broke the thing off, sprayed it. Uh, it got all wet and loose after I sprayed it because it's all like dirt and shit. Yeah. And then uh, I like chopped it open to get to the wasps that were inside. Yeah. And I saw all these like tunnels in it and shit. So I put it inside of like a jar. Boom. In a jar because I wanted to like see. I was like interested in how they built their nest and oh, everything, what was right? Inside of the cone. Yeah, I was like, "What's up with this thing?" Now I'm interested and I want to check it out, but I don't want to get attacked by the wasps that are Kill in it. Kill all them first. So I put it in a jar, and I fucking was like shaking it around, and they were falling out and shit. I like sprayed some stuff in there, and then I realized, man, that's mighty, mighty brave to get all that close and shit. It was crazy, but it was nighttime, so I felt confident because I was looking at them and they weren't attacking me. So I was like, sweet. I would have, like, found some, like, flammable shit, like, chemicals, and just set their ass on fire. So check this out. The shit, like, started falling apart, and I realized that they weren't tunnels, but they were little compacted, uh, like, capsules that were, you know, the size of, like, a vitamin pill. Yeah. Like a little capsule. And there was a bunch of them that made up this whole nest. 
and they were filled with assorted bugs. And they were like spiders, flies, fucking other wasps that were dead. Like all these different. Were they wrapped? They were just like straight dead? Like, Well, I think this like cocoon capsule was like, yeah, they were dead. And they, and all of the nutrients were sucked out of them. Like there was no blood in them. They were all just like dried and brittle. And I was like, what is this? This isn't a wasp. This looks like a, like a spider leg. And then I was like, this is definitely a fly. And then I Googled it and looked it up. And I found out that what they do is they catch a bunch of things, they stuff them in these like capsules inside of their nests, and they use it as nutrients, and then they like breed in there or some shit. Yeah. So it was like that's crazy why it had as the fuck. sack above it. Remember? Mm-hmm. It had that right above the the um that comb, that single comb that they had built. The fucking above it was a white sack. So I'm guessing there's eggs or some shit in there. So by the time they built around it, it'll be ready to be hatched and they can eat. Mm-hmm. You know what so, I'm saying? Like, they have timing. They do shit at timing. They, like, build a certain thing, and they'll add this, and then they'll have, like, the fucking the eggs or whatever they have, and then they'll build around it. And by the time they have it stuffed with food or whatever, the yeah, eggs yeah. already hatched, and they're eating. Yeah, you know? check this out. This is what happens. It says that, uh, says that modern parasitic wasps continue to practice of laying eggs on or inside host insects. They moved on to building nests. Uh, this ensures that the hatching young have shelter and a protective structure. So they build the nest, and the queen builds a cylinder, which is this little capsule thing. Fills and she it. She just stays there the whole time. She fills it with one or more uh, paralyzed insects. So she bites them or stings them or whatever, paralyzes them, puts them inside of this capsule, and then deposits an egg in the capsule and then closes it. So that way, when what the, the egg fuck? when the egg hatches. The Just larva eat. will eat all of the fucking, all of the bugs that are in there. It has paralyzed bugs that are in there, and it eats it, fucking gets all the sustenance from it, grows, and then breaks out of the capsule like a fucking butterfly out of a cocoon, and then now we have a wasp. What? That's crazy. Insane, dude. I had no idea that w- that's what was going on inside those Just dirt clogs. How, how many they can make at a time? Because remember, if you've seen like a full fucking honeycomb built, there's hundreds of those little like fucking little holes, like yeah. pockets. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? There's hundreds of those little pockets. And it just goes deep. And how many they put in each one? I think that it's, it says here that she deposits one egg into a cylinder. So I think that one, one little capsule is like one, one womb okay. for one wasp. So just think, that could be a couple hundred or a hundred fucking yeah see time. like see like 50 would be like a soccer ball sized i would pro- probably more than 50 i would say almost 100 yeah because it's a bunch of them like it's just all the way around there's no stop there's no place where there's not a hole yeah you know what i'm saying all the way around to wherever it builds whether it's in the corner on the fucking inside of a tube fucking inside because i've had i've seen it inside of a fence before fucking um <clears throat> when i was in boot camp before I went to the Marines, I went to Grizzly. It's uh, this like a little youth academy type shit for little bad kids. And uh, I went there for six months. It was like a fucking military base ran by the army and shit. And we were on doing a hump, which is like a hike. Pretty much you put a backpack on full of like gear and shit. Yeah. And you go through a hike through the mountains. So there was like, I want to say like at that time there was maybe 40, maybe give or take somewhere around there of us. And um, we were, like, coming down this mountain, and, like, we were all stomping and shit, you know, singing a fucking little cadence. And, <clears throat> like, half of us, by the time halfway, half of the platoon got down, fucking a wasp mess had, was in the ground and from a stomping and shit. So half the platoon makes it, and all of a sudden, fucking wasps shoot over from the ground. And, like, I was a third person back. The front <laughs> of my head gets covered. The dude in the front uh, where the wasp nest was, where it got cut off, he was wearing a road guard vest. Uh-huh. The whole road guard vest got covered in fucking wasps. He got stung like over a couple hundred times. He got taken to the hospital right away. Damn. My front head was covered. I got like 50, 60 fucking uh, bites. Like um, people were just covered in wasps. Like we were trying to get down past the fucking, it was just like a shield of wasps. They were just shooting up from the ground. And it was just wasps everywhere, stinging and biting everything. I'm just like fucking frantically smacking my hands and like head covered in fucking wasps is running down this mountain and shit. It was crazy, man. Like it was just pure pandemonium full uh, of wasps attacking everybody they seen for doing nothing. Just like stop. Because like imagine 40 people stomping down the mountain and they have their nest underground. So now, 
we after like the 15th person, 15th person of walking down, people have just stopped and they're just like, fuck this. And they shoot up and like hundreds of them just shoot up. It was crazy. Fuck that, man. People went to the hospital and shit, like real shit. Yeah. I got caught mouth like a motherfucker. Right? It's, I think it's, I I don't know what it is that's doing it, but it man. Gave, gave me crazy cotton mouth too. I'm fucking like super stoned, super bad cotton mouth. Mm-hmm. This feels like I'm like chewing on some fucking like dry rice and shit. It's nuts. Uh, did you hear about that, uh, that bitch that, uh, fucking crashed her car and killed her sister Mm-mm. here in California? No. So you didn't, and she like live streamed it. Nah, I on didn't, like, I didn't hear on like about Instagram or some nah. shit. You want to see the video? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Just watch this shit. All right. Uh, so what happened was, let's see, I might be able to find it on here. What happened? So what happened was, uh, she was driving somewhere. I forget where it was. Somewhere here in her California. Her and her sister. It was her and like her sister and her sister's friend or something were okay. like in the back seat, and All right. she's driving. She was under the influence of something. They didn't really. Uh, Probably drunk. They didn't really say what it was. Yeah, they just said under the influence. How old were they? Uh, I want to say that she was 18. Oh, yeah, they were drunk. And her sister's like 14. I mean, unless unless you have like a really, really fucked off life at, at that age, you're not really, I mean, especially a, a girl, you're pretty much just like drinking with your friends and shit, going to the club or whatever. So I want to, be, I, I bet the, they were just drunk. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to see if I can find it. This might be it. How long ago was it? Uh, this was just recently, like just a few days ago. So she's driving along. Oh shit. She's all fucked up. And then, uh, let's see if I can turn this audio on. Oh, this is pre-crash. Yeah, she's. Okay, this is pre-crash. Let's back it, back it up one more time. All right. All right, pre-crash, chilling, cruising, driving. All right, so she's driving along. Oh, shit, she's driving and filming. She's got her phone out. She's on, like, Instagram or Snapchat or some shit. Just thug wilding. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're not showing this on, uh, we're not showing this on YouTube. That way we don't get pulled for some fucking death video. You can't even see it. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Just go on YouTube, the video, pause it, pause the podcast. And so here's on. the thing. I haven't seen her sister in the back seat. I, I, don't, see, I don't see anybody else in the car. Yeah, I don't see anybody else in the car Cross, at all. Rewind it, rewind it a little bit because she kind of like did like a view. I didn't see nobody. Wait. Oh, nope. There they are. Wait. Okay, look. Here it is. Okay, I see, see one, one person in the back. Okay, then there's someone else on the other side too. So she's driving along, listening to music, blah, 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 singing and shit, throwing up East Side, being all gangster. Gangster shit, like, yeah, okay, here thug wilding. Uh. Boom. Oh, shit. So she crashes the car. They're rolling and shit. Hey, everybody, if I go to fucking jail for life, you already know why. My sister is fucking dying. Look, I fucking love my sister to death. I don't give a fuck. Okay, now she's just recording her sister's head exploded on the side of the road. She's moving her around all over the place. Her eyeballs hanging out. She's obviously all the way dead. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. I love my sister. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to jail. I don't want to watch it. (laughs) If you still survive? No, dude, look at her. Her head is fucking... She's like trying to close her head up. Her head's all fucking split open. It's not going to happen, dude. So... The fact that the fact that she live streamed this shit, she she was live streaming the crash. 
She picked up her phone after the crash. Her phone flew away somewhere. She found Did you it. See the way she looked at the video? Yeah. And that is what's going to, like, the DA is going to look on. They're gonna, Get they're up gonna, on that mic. They're going to they're gonna look at, when they, prov- when they show that video in court, and they say, look at this person. Look how she looked at the camera. There was no soul in that bitch at all. Yeah, she was just like. She was just like a fucking zombie. Yeah. Like an empty shell. Yeah, she had no emotion. No emotion at all. And that's what they're going to fucking prove. Look she at just it. said a string, she did of, this shit. a string of contradictory things. She did this shit. And look at previous to the video. She was throwing up gang signs. She was drunk, obviously, and knowing it and flaunting it and thinking she was just top of the fucking world and King Tut and just can do whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah. Boom, crashes. And then look how she's doing that. Instead of providing aid... Wrapping, uh, healing the wound, even fucking wrapping the something in the wound, <clears throat> so the fucking it's all together. Trying to stop the bleeding, CPR, some shit like that. Doing no. something instead of grabbing her face and shaking it. She's just like gonna a fucking rag doll. She's gonna get a nice angle you and know what I'm saying? And like, fucking and put her dying. Exactly. Her. She's she's gonna take the time to hit the fucking button to reverse the camera so she can see what she's doing. Yeah. And then fucking then sit there and shake her fucking sister's face like it's fucking a rag doll and just and get that get angle at the same and look at the camera at the same time. Yeah, she's doing it for views. Yeah, she disrespected you know her sister. She disrespected her family Herself, for views. Man. For views just... for what? She knows she's going to prison. You don't have social media in prison. They get fan mail and shit. True. So it's like it could be that one last boom. And I she... don't know, man. It's like it's crazy, and it's uh, it's the worst thing about social media. It's you know what she wanted? She wanted her fifteen minutes of fame. Yeah, and she and got she it. Just got it. Yeah. Because everybody, regardless of what, if, if it takes her fucking to get life in prison or a million dollars, she want girls want that fucking fifteen minutes of fame. She just fucking got it. Yeah, and it's like you know, uh, it's crazy, man. Because like this, the world that we live in now with social media, there's everything a, has to be videoed. Everything has to be recorded. There's this movie, The Circle, that's really good, and it's got Tom Hanks and it's got little Emma Watsons, and. uh it's like it definitely is like today in the world we live in how everything needs to be shared. People are compelled to let everybody know all these certain things and where yeah. they are and what they're everybody doing. Everybody has to tell everybody what they're doing at yeah, every their single opinion minute. and shit. And it's like it's it gets gross. Like I understand that like I, I understand the side of social media where you have your friends, you or like family that moved away and you could still catch up. Like I have, you know, Bill moved to Oregon. And, yeah. it's, and it's good to see, you know, posts like when he goes to like some park and he's like, check out this dope ass park. Look at how big my dog is. Like, it's cool to see that because I know that dude and I care about him and all that shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But when it gets to this point to where like you're just searching for likes and searching for views and want people like it's like me, me, me. And you're always putting out your opinion. You just want that constant attention. Yeah. It becomes like, like A I sickness almost. Yeah. And I have to. Like, I use social media because I don't have a promotional team yeah. for this podcast. So everything, I have to update all these different pages and I have to post on these things. And, yeah, you, it takes time. Yeah, and I've been, like, less and less active over the past year when it comes to, you know, daily posting, you know, like, paragraph-style yeah, posts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people don't want to read long shit yeah. like that anyway. Unless it's just some stupid funny thing that I come up with, I'm not really going to lay out my opinion yeah, but people's attention span now is not fucking, they're not trying to read some big ass paragraph, fucking yeah. click me, now nah, read this, this, this. I mean, they just want like maybe six to eight sentences real quick. They want some real short shit and then move on. Because people ain't sitting there trying to read 20 minutes of shit. Yeah. And, you know, that's, uh, that, that actually brings me to my last topic today. And that is a rabbit hole that I've been, uh, going into. YouTube rabbit holes. I always get stuck in these like weird. Just click on one, then yeah. click on another, and click on another. Uh-huh. And then like, and then my recommended feed, like, yeah. like I'll refresh it, and it'll be full of all these different things that and I've been looking like, oh, at. Shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, and like recently, before this, it was uh, it was Big J Okerson. Have you ever heard of, heard nah. of him? He's a comedian from New York, Mm-mm. and he's hella funny. I've been watching all kinds of videos of him and getting all these interviews and stand ups and the I recommended never really watched- shit. Like, I've only really used YouTube for, like, music videos and music and shit. Dude, YouTube is the most succe- I never, yeah. it's the most useful thing ever. Like, I use it every morning. That's the first thing that I click on. When I go... You first turn on YouTube? Yeah, when I when I get on my computer and I hop on there, I click on YouTube. 
and it'll usually it'll give me what was uploaded today or yesterday any of the channels that I follow anything that I watch a lot and then it'll automatically give me some sort of visual content that will like kind of start my start my thing that's pretty dope yeah and See, then I'll I, I jump would, around I didn't really think YouTube and I started seeing more shit like that and I hearing more like about oh watching this on YouTube or that that and it's like I only really thought of YouTube just for like music and shit. I mean, I only use it for that, but like I'm gonna start checking out like that comedian and other shit, like just seeing what I can find. Like I always watch YouTube for bullshit videos, you know? Yeah. So uh that's what I've been doing is watching bullshit videos. And I've been watching uh cringeworthy vin- videos, which is just ridiculous shit and the challenge is to just watch it and not cringe and not have any Damn, sort of fucked up? any sort of reaction to it. It's not really fucked up, it's just like it's weird and they're all different you know yeah. what i mean sometimes they're really fucked up and sometimes they're just like funny but like what kind of shit though all right here's one here's oh, a shit. here's a convention and Brand. this kid is going to explain to us how uh hentai what hentai is which i believe is what is how it's pronounced hi hentai is um anime except uh it's for people 18 and up because it's pornographic horny um aliens with tentacles um that uh want to um uh get intimate with um uh human uh girls they um they um they uh they it goes up the uh girl's vagina and is he like uh, really like in and out and um does her wow are the women while this is occurring are these human women enjoying these tentacles doing these weird things um i actually can't tell um sometimes they say stop or don't do it but um uh they don't try and free themselves so uh, <laughs> i'm actually not sure <laughs> what <laughs> did he just say they pretty much tell him stop but he just you know, does yeah. it anyways because they don't run he doesn't yeah because he doesn't know because he did, never had sex before so it's like what is no he he's never had pussy since pussy had uh-huh. him so that was just the guy trying to explain I how can, sex works i can guarantee you just by um um uh goes into her uh, uh it is uh, anime <laughs> it's just the way he like talks and like doesn't know what to say yeah and he doesn't want to say yeah well like take your finger and you stick it in that bitch's pussy and you just do this then this and this and this um well like you just like your two fingers are just like um um and it's um, not like, and it's not um, even like, like that like it's not know. even like he was trying to be respectful you know what i mean like like he knows he how it works and he was like let me let me try to find like a good way to word this that's not like disrespectful to anyone in case my mom sees he this was just no. fucking he was guessing a mess <laughs> and he was kind of looking over like is this right like <laughs> He was like needing confirmation from his two dorky friends over to the corner that just watches porno videos, and that's all they know about sex is watching other people fuck. Yep. All right, I got another one for you. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a husband calling contest? No. This is something that happens in Illinois, uh, and I think a lot of other states, but in, what is in it? Illinois especially, a husband calling contest. What the fuck? And it's where uh, where where women go and they. Uh, I, I still haven't really, like, gotten that, to the bottom of this yet, sound, okay? That sounds like some just bullshit right there. So what it is 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 they go and they, like, they call their husband, like, as if they're calling their husband for dinner. I think they all set it up. But uh, but here, I'll just show it to you, and it's better. Yeah, let, me, let me see it. Because cause I, I still don't understand it fully, why they do this. But this is a competition that happens at the fair. Wow, the they, Illinois have like a, State they have, fair. like, a celebration for it. Here it is. Are you ready? Yeah. This is called Dog Chasing Rabbit. You can tell there's some country ass shit. Here comes a car. What the fuck? And that was true. I really did do that. So I'll say, Sweet Roy! Roy Boy! Oh, come on, Roy Boy! Dinner's ready! Is this how they call the motherfuckers for dinner? Yeah. If a bitch ever said that to me for fucking dinner, I would. What the fuck? (laughs) No. What is he doing three houses over, bitch? (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) 
<laughs> I grew up right here in Sangamon County, 4-H member. Woo! Grew up in a farm here, and then uh -huh. now my family farms over in Ashland, Illinois. But we live. Uh, my husband and I live in Morrow, so that's a long way to Ashland. So I guess if I had to call it, she's setting up her calling joke. Did you see what? that? She was like, yeah, I live here, is. and then she. we have a farm over here, she's but we live points here. Destination. And then she's all like, so if I have to call him from way over there, that was good. That's a good setup. I think she should win. I'd vote for her. But let's hear her call. I, should, I shouldn't I should speak too soon. What, I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? That's why these are so this great. This is ridiculous. Because they make you go, what the fuck? Why ain't, is this Ain't no one ever said that shit to me. Cause I'll fucking... Here we go. Here we go. I'm uh, from Ashland down in Morrow. I'd have to go... Come home! Wow. Okay, so I may not look like I have a big mouth, but I knew back in third grade when my friends would talk and whisper. Oh my and I'd God! Say and the teacher would give me an assignment, and I'd have the four assignments. What the fuck are you talking carry. about? So she's still talking. See, I have. How long was that? How long was that? <laughs> it's in the house. And she's still fucking <laughs> talking and throwing shit off I'm her face. Get a hold of my man I'm fast call. forwarding too. Damn it! This is what the fuck. And she got a boot on. Like, take your boot ass <laughs> off the stage, bitch. You lost. Hobble your ass out of here. Wobble your ass on. You're done, dude. What the man. fuck? Yep. That's you know what life. I would do if if a girl ever did that to me for dinner? I would go get some fast food because then I would just come home and, and move the dinner aside and just eat my fast food. <laughs> don't ever call me like that. You're like Freddie got fingered. I want a chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but don't ever talk me talk to me like that. I'm eat my fast food now oh, and shit. just like throw the dinner in the trash. Just and like fuck that in my face with that. That's right. That's so disrespectful. Like how how you gonna call somebody like that? Like some fucking dogs. Yeah. Like, do I look like a dog to you? Do you look like a dog? I don't know. Why would you get called like a dog for dinner? I can't really tell what I look like because I'm me, so it's like hard I'm, to tell like with yourself. But uh, the fact that they have celebrations for that shit and like awards <laughs> for calling the motherfucking men for dinner like dogs is what crazy. It is, what it is is who has the fucking the loudest voice. Mm -hmm. and, what, and it's also because in Illinois, the woman belongs in the kitchen. So yeah, they that's her farmed. job. She needs to call loud. So they're just celebrating. Well, you remember our trip to the gathering? How many fucking farms did we pass? Yeah. A million. It was crazy. Like, there was all just acre farms and tractors everywhere. Mm -hmm. And big sign says, fuck you, and go now, home. And now that I think about it, I think I might have heard some of these noises when we were out there on the road. And that was just women calling their husbands. Man, I thought people were just telling us to fuck off because with the big ass sign says, turn around, go home, you're not welcome. I thought they were just telling us to go fuck ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know. All right, uh, well. We got to get out of here. Yeah, I got to go. Thank you for joining me, Chris. Word. Go and uh, follow that killer Chris on all of his social medias. Hit me up. Look me up. Google me, bitch. That's right. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. We love Yo. you. Peace. Natural Habitat Recording.